Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video. And in this video, we'll be test firing the DaVinci Catapult. For those of you who watched the previous video, you may notice some differences to the Catapult. Originally, I was going to use this spring, but I thought it wasn't going to be strong enough. So I used this push bike spring. It was all right for the ball bearing arm, which is this one. So this one fires a ball bearing, but for the golf ball arm, it was just a bit, just a bit weak. So I'm going to use both springs instead. Also, another thing that's changed from the last video, the release mechanism. So this is the pole for the ratchet. And what was happening when I was firing the catapult, the pole was re-engaging before it come before it had done a full range of motion so it, it was locking in at about there about that position and the, cat, the ratchet was re-engaging so I've put this this locking pin here so you can prime it and then when you pull the cord which it locks away from the ratchet wheel gives you the full range of motion got some golf balls and yeah that will work alright I think that well look at that actually holds it in so yeah we'll uh, Go up to the farm and we'll test out the Da Vinci catapult. Okay guys, in this shot I'm just pointing out that I, I've had to put a larger spring on it and also thicker wire because it, it still didn't have enough power to get any real distance. Although it is only it is only a scale model. I don't I don't know to what scale. <laughs> failure catastrophic failure if I was gonna rebuild it I'd probably go with a wooden construction because wood's got a lot of flex in it and that wouldn't happen so fortunately it didn't snap my welds it snapped the steel itself which I know it can do that next to a weld it becomes brittle or hardened or something like that so this box that I was using the box that I was using is approximately two mil two mil wall and only reason I used two mil wall was because I've run out of this this meaty four mil wall so that's why that snapped because it was weak and it was next to a weld it's been a fun experiment guys and I got to make bushing pins with my lathe. Hope you enjoyed watching it guys. If you did, please hit that like button. I know it wasn't the, uh, it only managed to fling it about 18 paces, probably 16 meters or something like that. I think on the max power one, I think I got near, I think I got near to 20 meters, but obviously it, it blew itself in bits then. So yeah, 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.